Okay, as I promised in my last video, here we have the uh, review of the Tachyon XC Micro 2010 helmet camera. Okay, we're going to start this view off by looking at the box. Um, right here in the front, it says Tachyon XC Micro. It is the 2010 version, the newest one they just came out with. Their little slogan here on the bottom, it says the world's toughest helmet camera gets smaller. And then it just says patents and then other stuff and features on the bottom. Moving right here on the side, pretty much says the same thing. Smaller, lighter, stronger, easy mounting, huge free action, or hands free action video. Okay, and then you look to right here, it's got uh, examples of being used as you see. Airsoft and airsoft and then some paintball stuff. Okay, and after that, come to the back. This is all its features. Um, one of the main features is that it shoots 30 frames per second, which means it is compatible for YouTube. You don't have to change or compress the video at all, which is very good. You can get your video, take the parts that you don't want, and put it right up there, which is what I really plan to do with it. And then right here on the side has little examples of it being used. And it says compatible for YouTube and whatever Vimeo is. Okay, that's it for the, uh, the look at the box. Now we're going to look at the camera and what comes inside the box itself. Okay, here is what is inside the box itself. It's just this little egg carton thing. What it comes with is the camera itself with the mount already on. That sat right there. And then a little instruction manual and a, a USB cord for the computer. Or, um, it came with a TV cord and some other pieces right here. But that's pretty much it. It doesn't need a charger because this runs on batteries. And I'll get to that in a second. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it what's in the inside. Just something really quick. And now we're going to go over the camera itself and its features. Okay, with mounting itself, there's two main parts. You got the mount itself, and then you got the securing system. Okay, this mount right here is the universal mount. As you can see, this is the, the piece right here where the camera goes into. It has two notches here, and then two notches at the bottom to keep it secure into that, which is actually really, really effective. Um, the first way you can mount it is on top of a helmet, which is this grooved piece right here. This is for on top of the helmet. And then this piece right here, which is what I got my secure system on the side, is for the side. It can go on either side. You can just uh, flip the camera on into this. And then this piece right here, so you can push the start and stop button. Okay, this right here is the actual securing piece itself. It is 3M tape. I've had it sitting up here for about three to four days now. It's going to stay there. It's really, it's extremely strong material. I put it up there early today. It took me five minutes to take the camera off, so... You're, you're going to have no problem with your camera staying on your helmet when you're in action, no matter what happens, as long as you don't fall on the camera. So, um, that's pretty much it for the mounting. Let's move on to the actual camera itself. Okay, moving on to the actual camera itself, I'm just going to go the whole overview of the uh, externals and the internals of the camera. Starting here with the top, you have this little dot right here that is the LED light. It lets you know if you're recording, which is uh, solid red. And then um, blinking red means you have a full memory card and then um I forgot which one is low battery but I think it's a uh, blinking green okay and then of course that's surrounded by this metal plate and then after that you've got these two pieces right here if I haven't mentioned them already there's uh, attached to the mount to keep it secure moving on to the front Daddy. you've got the lens itself and then you got this rubber outside piece which is for um it helps with you know impact protection moving on to the bottom you have the other piece that mounts to the mount itself and then right here is just a warning that says you can clean the rubber seal but do not remove it because that voids the warranty and then you got your standard CESC and made in China moving on to both sides they both say the same thing Tachyon XC TM Tachyon XC TM of course TM being trademark okay moving on to the back you've got this clip this claw mount right here, whatever you want to call it, but it secures the back closed. It is very strong. You can't pull the back off unless you take this piece off no matter what you try. Basically, just flip this piece up. That loosens the top, and then the whole top uh, comes down. This piece right here is a piece of foam to keep everything on the inside not moving, which also helps with impact protection. Um, This is right here. This is the compartment. You just put that, pull that switch, the batteries come out and it's just a whole tray I'm going to just pull it that much out as you see I'm using uh, Energizer Ultimate Lithium that is what Tachyon recommends you using with this camera 
for best performance. And then you got your micro SDHC card drive right there. Um, that's the only con to the camera for me. I couldn't use my standard SD card. I had to go out there and buy one of the small ones that use the SD card as an adapter. But no problem now. It works just fine. And this is still a 10 out of 10 camera. Okay, and then right here, you've got the uh, your TV plug-in. As I talked about earlier, it comes in with a cord you can watch it on the TV with. That's what that is for. And then right there, you see video and photo. And then you see lock and unlock. When you have a uh, lock on, that means if the camera's off, it's going to stay off. Unlock, you can do whatever you want to do. Then right here, video is just standard video when you push the button. And then photo is time-lapse photo. Whenever you push the button, it's... Um, when it's it pretty much is just like recording but it takes one picture every two seconds okay that's it for the uh, the overview of the camera itself and that is going to go ahead and wrap up our review but I'm going to show you a little sample of what the, uh, this looks like on the helmet but I will have no test footage in this video y'all are going to have to wait till my next video I'll have first person view holding various of my uh, holding a couple of my airsoft guns Okay, that's it for that. Let's go see what it looks like on the camera. Okay, here's the helmet. As I said before, if you see my last video, this is the uh, the three M mounting system that I already put on because it has to sit there and bond with the helmet itself. Um, here's the mount. All you got to do to put it on is you place it directly over the other piece. And what I do, I just push and like wiggle it around, and then eventually it'll all get in there. Do that to the other side. You'll kind of hear it go into place like a puzzle, and then there you go. There's your helmet cam. Um, here I'm gonna zoom the camera out a little bit. Put it up. Okay, there you go. It uh, that's what the center of the helmet looks like, and yeah, the camera looks all set. But when I'm looking down my sights or my scope, whatever I'm using, my head's going to turn like this. So it's going to be looking directly at the gun, and it's going to be a really nice first person view. Okay, that's it for now. I'm also going to attach you to the other side. I'm not going to show that. I'm not going to make this video any longer. This has been a What You Looking At production. If you have any questions about the camera, where I got it, make sure to ask me. Um, Really, really nice camera. Totally should just getting it. This has been a What You Looking At production. Make sure you subscribe, comment, rate, request. This is What You Looking At. I'm out.